Hi everyone, Amanda here. I'm very excited for this haul video. It's one that I had purchased, like I had to wait a couple of weeks for it because I ordered it online and I'm very much one of those instant gratification people. So, you know, I think that's why Amazon is so much of my favorite <laughs> because I get it within two to three days. And so this order is actually from Joann's and Joann's is not a place I typically shop because I usually go to Michael's and it's, there's nothing wrong with Joann's. It's just Michael's is more convenient for me to get to. Um, but I do get the emails and the sales flyers from Joann, Joann's and what they had was like a 40% off, like all their paper crafting type items. And then they had, it was either a 20 or 25% off your entire purchase um, and then plus if you hit a certain dollar amount, you got like free shipping. So it took me a long time to place the order. First of all, because I had my, I had to look at the sales price and then my coupon reduction in order to calculate everything still to get the free shipping. So it took me quite a while to place the order and then it took forever ever to get it in the mail and maybe it's just where i am in ohio that it took longer but i am in columbus and not in like a rural area this is my haul video from joann's i am getting into my art journaling and um so that's what most of this stuff is is in preparation for my art journaling i've been watching vicky Papineau, and I probably will mispronounce her last name, but she has videos on YouTube and a lot of them are art journaling that I've been watching. So she's really inspired me to get back into it when I haven't um, done it for a while. So let me dig in here and show you some of the things I got at Joann's. I will not be able to remember all the, in inter all the individual prices because like I said, um, I, they were all 40% off and then another 20 or 25% off. So it was very good prices. Let's just keep it at that. So we'll start with this Petaloo flower. And I got a couple of Petaloo items because this is something I cannot get at Michael's. Um, at least not in the store. I've never seen the Petaloo. And I loved the bright sunflower. And I thought this would be perfect on a journal page or on the front of a card even. Or a mini book because those are the things that I do. And then I also got the butterflies from Petaloo. And these actually looked like I might be able to tint or color um, maybe with some of my markers and make a little bit more in-depth color. And I'll try to tap these down a little bit. And you can see it is from Petaloo as well. Um, Tim Holtz, one of my favorites. He may even be my favorite um, uh, mixed media artist. But I got some of these little... Um, little mini book rings. I like them. You get 18 rings in a package. So that's nice. I use them even though a mini book might seem like it'd be too big for those mini rings. This still works. Um, and let's see more with Tim Holtz. Let's just keep on the Tim Holtz vibe. I think, um, I've got these little, like flower metallic pieces and they come so you can like build onto them and make them more dimensional because you see you have the little brads down here and then the flower pieces and metal pieces all have a hole in them so the brads will fit down in these holes and i bet if you wanted to like put this flower on top of that flower and then attach it with the brad it would be like three layers and that would be really cute to mix the metals i'm 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 fine with mixing metals. Let me put, make sure that's in the screen. So these I thought were really, really nice. Um, I finally broke down and got the Tim Holtz ruler. I've been missing, I have a big, huge metal ruler that I use a lot, but I also had a little six inch ruler that is missing. So I can't find it. And I'm thinking one of my, my, my son took it for some reason or another when I was out of town or somebody took it. <laughs> I'm not naming names, but I'm naming names. And, um, so I bought this ruler and I'm still looking for a smaller metallic one, like metal one that I had before. And I'm hoping that this is a good ruler to use. But anyway, everybody else seems to like it. So I'm going to give it a try. 
Next that I'm going to try in my art journal are the Distress Paints. I've used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Pads um, a lot. And so now I'm going to try the paints. I've got Twisted Citron, um, Dusty Concord, Spiced Marmalade. Don't these colors look like Halloween colors? Uh, black Soot and then Vintage Photo. So I got these for art journaling and I can't wait to use those. I've already got a page prepped in my mixed media uh, notebook to start putting some paint on that. And then I got this Distress Refresher. This you put on your ink pads, your markers, or your paint daubers to kind of rehydrate them because you know, I've noticed that the vintage photo one, which is the one I use the most, it's starting to look a little dry. So even when I re-ink it, it still looks a little dry. So I got this to refresh it and to make it a little more wet so that it'll accept the new ink better. So I'm going to give that a try as well. And I'll set that aside. The, um, And I think, nope, I want one more thing from Tim Holtz, which is the, the Distress collage medium in the matte, the vintage, and the crazing. So I'm going, again, I've been um, inspired by Vicki to use some of these materials that I have not really used these in the past. I've only used like Mod Podge. So, um, and that instead of like a um, gel medium, but this, so this is something different, but it is I, the, I, just to say that that's the only thing I've ever used kind of like in this whole medium type air, area. So I'm going to give that a try. Next, um, I got my tacky glue. I use this tacky glue a lot. I use the, um, I use a couple of different types, but I use this one a lot. It's very quick drying. I use it in my mini books. This is my favorite probably, um, for in this price range because it's like usually only a few bucks and it lasts a very long time. Next I got this Fisker's Punch and notice the shape of this is a hexagon and my thought behind this was to be able to punch different kinds of scrapbook paper in the hexagon shape for my inkwell press planner. I'm not sure if the size is correct. Like this one is, um, this is the one and a half inch. Let me see if I can tell. Um, I tried to get the one I thought was closest, but I may be off. But if it might not fit in the planner, it might fit my inserts. But that's specifically what I got this for. And it was ridiculously cheap with on sale for 40% off and then the additional 20 or 25% off. It was so inexpensive. So that's why I got that one. Um, let's see. Let's just take a look at these two little Versacolor stamp pads. Just to add a little bit. Sometimes I like just the little ink pads for smaller stamps in, you know, like little tiny things that you want to punch over or stamp over and over again. I like the little ones and I use the little Tim Holtz mini ones as well. So, um, I got the blue and the red in anticipation of like Memorial Day, 4th of July, that kind of thing. And same with the mini brads. I got that with the um, forethought of upcoming holidays of what I'm going to do with this with my cards. These are Doodlebug mini brads. And this one's called Ladybug. 25 of them. I think they were like 99 cents. And then on, on sale or whatever. This is beautiful trim. For my mini books and the flowers are so gorgeous and this is called Magnolia and it's by Prima there's one and a half yards of this trim and I love it I even like the little like wooden type board that it's on it's awesome you could hang this so neat it's just really really neat um, and then I got these cute little brads. I'm going to actually open these if I can. Let's see. I don't have my scissors handy. Uh, let's see. I do have it. Let me see. I do have this handy. Let's see if I can punch through that. 
I don't know why I'm on a moose kick, but I am. And I think they're so cute. And there are here are the little brads and their little tiny moose. And let's see if we can show that to you. Isn't that so cute? And I've never been like a moose person, but I'm really enjoying it right now. So those are some brads. Again, they were ridiculously cheap. I got this um, little sheet of stickers, like winter stickers by Penny Black. I am a bird. I love birds. I don't want to own one only because I would be allergic to the dust and the feathers and everything. But I love them. And I think it might come from my grandmother always. She always like um, drew birds and stuff. But I just think they're just so cute. And I can't wait to use these. I know they're kind of Christmassy. But I don't care. I'm like, I like Christmas. Anyway, next, let's move on. Moving on. I got a Faber-Castell black um, big artist, big brush artist pen. This is India ink, black India ink. It will dry very fast and very permanent. It's, you can have the details here. It's waterproof, archival, odorless, and the nibs retain their shape and size. I have a couple of these that I've been using forever and they're really good quality. I'm probably going to invest in some more of these, but when I say invest, I say invest because they're going to be five or six dollars each. So you, I don't, I won't be able to get, you know, them like a big bunch at one time. Probably not. Next, I got some Specter, Spectrum Noir. I have not used these. So I got a blender. And then I got um, this color CT1, which I liked. And I believe this was some of the items that were out of stock when they shipped my order. Because I obviously would not have just picked these two together. Um, and I had some more others in mind. So I guess they're very popular. We'll see. I haven't used them, but I'll take a look at them, see what I think of them. And um, maybe I'll buy more. Maybe it's, maybe it's a blessing that they were out of stock because maybe I won't like them. I don't know. Next, I got the more of the Spectrum, Spectrum markers, but these are Spectrum Aqua. And this is very similar to a water marker. From my understanding, they are blendable with water. Um, and they have two tips, one on each end. And these are the colors. Um, sunset, evergreen, amber, sea green, chestnut, kingfisher, fawn, peacock blue, desert, marine, topaz, and boulder. Now these, um, I do have the um, Jane Davenport water brush markers and I also have some Tombow that you can use with water but um, I don't really have this color palette like with the um, Jane Davenport markers they are they're more like um, I would say they're very vibrant very bold colors, which I love. And these look more like muted colors. So I thought that it kind of went well together. And at the same time, this will give me the opportunity to um, maybe try a different marker. I do like watercolors. So I'm looking forward to using these as well. And then I have two things left. This is a uh, Julie Nutting paper pad, six by six. And I thought the pages were just adorable. And I'm going to go ahead and open them up. So this is a Julie Nutting six by six paper pad by Prima. And I am going to use my X-Acto knife to open this up because I want to see the colors. I haven't really looked at them yet either. So this will be a first for both of us here. And let's just open this. Very, very pretty. So let's just look through this real quick. You've got some glasses, eyeglasses. Oh, that's going to make your eyes go buggy, that pink. It's like a little floral print. Um, and it looks like several pages of each color. 
some arrows, some diamonds and gems. Oh, that blue is pretty. I like the pretty, the blue. I think it actually goes well with the, the yellow arrows there. Um, let's see what else. The pink, little tiny, those look like butterflies or little tiny four petal flowers. And then little squiggly rosettes with flowers on this side, on the back side. Um, what is this? Ooh, green, like polka dots, but like, like irregular polka dots with the purple and pink striped. I'm telling you, these patterns will make your eyes go crazy. And then this one, the front page has this gorgeous multicolor, like dauber style pattern. And then the other side is like a, it matches this greenish yellow color here with the pink and purple flowers. Very pretty. And the quality, the paper quality is very nice. Look, it's very thick. It's almost to where you could use this as a page rather than um, if you're doing mini books, you could almost use this as a page rather than backing it on black or cardstock, like a card base. So it's very good quality. There's 30 sheets, five sheets of six different designs. Pretty, pretty, pretty Julie Nutting. I love Julie Nutting. I love her paper lines. Last but not, oh, it's not last. I saved one more. Okay. This is a mini scoring board. I have the big Martha Stewart scoreboard. And whenever I pull it out, I think, man, this is so huge when I'm making cards or a lot of my planner dividers. Um, when I make the little tabs, I will put them here and score them before I fold them. And the big scoreboard I have is just too big. So I got this little one, and again, it was ridiculously cheap with all the coupons and discounts. I love it. I can't wait to use it, and um, so that's what that is, and it comes with this little bone folder here. And it says, score flawless, crisp lines in seconds, perfect for card making, create envelopes with easy to use guide. Oh, okay, so it even tells you how to make envelopes on the back and the different sizes. I have an envelope maker, but this is nice too. Okay, so I lied. I do have one more thing, and it's something that I have not tried before. Again, inspired by Vicky Papano or Papano, whatever, however you say her name. She's She does great videos. Um, I, I will actually, um, I probably already have noted her name in one of my other in previously in this video but if not I will note it again here um so here it, it's called Nouveau Crystal Drops and I want to say it's a lot like stickles without the glitter and or if you know like the pearl drops and things so you can see if you can it just it's really smooth. It just, you can pop that up right like that. I've not used these, but they look amazing. I'm just going to make a little, I'm going to make a little dot here on the doodle bug. And that's what they look like. There you go. And I'll set that over to dry. So these, again, are going to go into my art journals and my card making. And I got the colors I got. This is gold. Let me see if it says here. Bright gold. Silver lining. Antique rose. And last but not least, red berry. Gloss red berry. I cannot wait to use these. I have been like stalking Amazon for these and having a hard time finding them. And I think I finally know why is because they're not under Nuvo. They're under tonic, I believe. So let's see if it says tonic on here. Yeah. See, if I don't know if you can see this, but it says Nuvo by tonic studios in the UK. I had a hard time finding them, but I found them in Joann's, but 
I think I finally found them on Amazon and it was because they're not under Nuvo. There's also this thing called Nuvo Mousse that I want to try at some point. But I think I'll wait until I'm more into my art journal and I've got a lot of product now. I've got, since I was out of the art journaling thing for a while, I had to really um, invest in some products. Um, it's not easy to do. So anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like some of the products that I got from Joann's. I love Joann's. Um, it's not my, my go-to place, obviously, because uh, Michael's is so much closer, but... Um, I do like it. And if I go again, I will probably um, go directly to the store rather than wait for it to come online unless it's not available in the store. So anyway, that's my video and I hope you like it and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.